deep in the heart of East Texas resides the CCC State Park right on the water. So there's plenty to do as far as fishing, paddling, swimming, and then it has a ton of trails and also a handful of different camping options for RVs, tents, and cabins and more. So come along with me as I explore Tyler State Park.
We're here at the Creekside camping area. It's the cabin section. It's the only cabin section here at Tyler State Park. Um, there are a ton of different campsites that are available. There are some that are RV only. There's some that are tent sites. Uh, but for this weekend, there's definitely a lot of people here. In the cabin section, when I met the reservation, it said that all of the cabins were booked and there are still two that are, sorry, I keep looking away, but on either side of us that never had anyone show up. So uh, if you make reservations and you don't show up, cancel them. They don't show reserved or anything. So it looks like somebody did eventually cancel their reservation. So good on y'all for doing that. Uh, there are a lot of things to do here, including activities on the water. My daughter spent a lot of time swimming today. I spent a lot of time uh, quote unquote fishing. I didn't catch a whole lot of fish because I'm just not that good apparently. Uh, but there were a lot of people out on the water doing some fishing. They have a cool swimming area that the little kids can swim on but it was pretty packed until the rain came. But it was really neat seeing the rain on the water too. So. Loop Trail C is hiking and mountain biking. So in order to make it safer for everybody, hikers gotta go counterclockwise and mountain bikes go clockwise. Kind of alleviate the uh, need to get out of the way. This park's awesome, I love it here. It's neat change of pace from the Central Texas parks that of course that I'm used to where I live. But it is neat kind of being a frequent visitor of Bastrop State Park and then coming out here and seeing some of the original loblolly pines. And then they have the short leaf pines here as well. So that's pretty cool seeing the different things. Lots of raccoons, uh, lots of birds, no other wildlife. On the map, there's a picture of beaver and wild, white tailed deer, sorry, which we haven't seen any of, but the trees are awesome. It's been really humid. It rained yesterday, as you saw uh, in this video, the, the rain over the water, which was kind of cool. You see a lot of downed pine trees here at Tyler State Park, but the bottoms are so fascinating, seeing all the roots and then some of the growth that's grown on top of the dead roots and then the holes that are left behind on the bottom.
I'm not gonna lie, that little marker behind me telling us which one is C and which one is D would have been a lot more helpful at the beginning of this trail. I was on C and then I knew that C and D met up and I didn't wanna look at the map, which is a mistake, so don't do that. But I ended up on the D trail and went all the way around on D instead. So now I'm on the opposite end where C and D meet up again. So just be aware that there's some uh, trail interchanges here that you're gonna have to be on the lookout for to decipher which one is C and which one is D. So yeah, these are pretty intense mountain biking trails, C and D, but even for hiking, some of the declines and inclines are pretty intense. So bring plenty of water. You're right next to the lake, so the humidity, especially right now after a rain, has been really, really high. If you can't see the uh, sparkle on my face, I am completely drenched. But there's more mountain bikers here than hikers. And this trail is right next to the road, which I'm gonna get off at now. But yeah, I love this trail. It was really fun. There is a ton of shade. It's not like some of the other parks where you're gonna hike and then it opens up a lot. You're in the forest, so there's plenty a lot of cover, but it's still really hot. So bring plenty of water. I definitely recommend trekking poles. Just have them just in case and then some comfortable shoes. I didn't think I was gonna hike this long because I didn't really mean to be on this trail. So I was just wearing my Chacos and my feet are definitely feeling it a little bit just from all of the inclines that I had to traverse. So yeah, thanks for coming along on hiking on the uh, C and D trail here at Tyler State Park.